Good afternoon, traders. It's Bill Baruch with Blue Line Futures. It's your daily midday market minute. We have a move in the metals. But before I get to it, if you're watching this on YouTube, please click the link below and subscribe. Like and subscribe if you're watching from our website. There's also a link below to direct you to YouTube and you can subscribe that way. We'd love for you to follow us. We'd love for you to help us build our following. Yeah, the metals are moving higher sharply today after that jolts report. But first here, with the equity markets, uh, we're not getting that uh, that Fed pivot sort of stock market rally here today. We're actually getting the recession trade, which ultimately would be the why the, the Fed is, is pivoting at the banking crisis. You've got recessionary conditions percolating. Um, going back to yesterday, though, ISM manufacturing data, we saw a contraction, more of a contraction than expected on the headline number. Uh, we then as well saw prices contract when they're looking for an expansion. So that is a, a recession-like uh, data point. And then today we had the Jolts job openings, and that was the first time below 10 million. So lower than 10 million job openings for the first time going back to uh, June of 2021. And uh, yeah, this is definitely what the Fed you know, has wanted to see. It, it, the labor market has been too tight. So there's been a ton of job openings and, uh, and, and no one to really fill them, so to speak. Um, this this is it continues to sort of another piece here for uh, another feather in the cap for the for the Fed in order to back off the these rate hikes um, and we'll have to see here in the coming days because it's going to be very pivotal. We've got ISM non manufacturing tomorrow the first look as well at jobs uh, for March because that jolts was a February number first look at jobs for March with the ADP number uh, tomorrow morning as well and then obviously non farm payroll on Good Friday on Friday so. You got some markets going to be closed. Gold's going to be closed. Crude's going to be closed. You know, the equity market only open, I think, until 8.15. You have currencies, uh, I believe, until 10.30. So d very interesting day on, on Friday. But for now, you, you have the S&P and the NASDAQ trading lower, but only only a little bit. I have to little jump off the session lows. NASDAQ's only down a quarter of a percent. The S&P, though, down about half a percent. It's battling. Both of them really battling at after that first hour on Friday, we surged higher on Friday in, in that first hour. Now we're basically testing into where it settled in um, broadly, where it settled in uh, after that first hour of trade. However, the Russell 2000 is a different story. It's taken out that Friday opening bell range. And uh, yet the, the KRE is down 3%. That's the regional bank ETF. But you also got names, large names like Caterpillar and Deer. Caterpillar is down 5%. Deer is down 3%. And that's where you got the recession trade. But you also have energy names really giving up some of those gains. Uh, refiners are, are getting crushed here. You got Marathon Petroleum down 5-6%. Um, and crude really kind of just battling at 80 bucks. So very wonky day. The recession trade is here, uh, and at least on for today. And, and the NASDAQ is hanging in uh, better than, than the other indices. Moving on, though, yeah, crude oil, 80 bucks. I've highlighted some levels on the Morning Express that we must see uh, crude really start to hold, uh, not just a gap cover, but but where, what would help this stay most bullish? Um, you know, inventories data, API coming out after the bell today. So keep an eye on that. Um, this, what type of, how much SPR was released? I know they're, they're starting to release some SPR. Um, you look at the data and, and are they able to get any production back online? The estimated numbers that come in those weekly EIA numbers. So that's going to be tomorrow, but API after the uh, uh, API after the bell today. Um, but again, all those levels highlight on the Morning Express to so check it out. But the big story today, after that jolts number comes, comes in soft, again, the first time below 10 million since June of 2021. The, uh, jolts numbers come in soft gold and silver, platinum as well, have all capitalized on this weaker dollar. The U.S. dollar index is at the lowest level since February 3rd. You got gold trading out above two, uh, 2030. It's hit uh, 2040. So we're getting new swing highs here in gold. This is a breakout of that pennant. Uh, we got to get some follow through uh, in through Friday. Remember, gold's going to be closed, but a lot of data leading into Friday. Gonna get, is this going to continue to build a tailwind? Silver's out above $25, uh, taking out that February high. So a lot of interesting things taking place in the precious metals complex because you get the bonds as well with the yields lower. The bonds are back to the March high. 10 year, ten year is not quite at that March high yet, but uh, it's had a couple spike high days, but you're getting the bonds to move higher. So higher treasuries, you got lower dollar index, um, and, and obviously some of the other currencies are, are moving higher too, but this is a very great tailwind for the precious metals complex. All new levels above because we've, we've chewed through a lot of these resistance levels. I'll highlight some new levels tomorrow, tomorrow's Morning Express, so don't miss it. Check it out, and don't hesitate to contact our trade desk. We're always here to help. 312-278-0500. Number of futures trading involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors.